evening, YouTube. You guys are now watching another segment of the Cali Effect King of Games. And today, we're going to be doing a retro binder update. Now, the reason why I say this binder update is super retro is because Google Documents will be down. Right now, I'm in the middle of recording you guys some live duels, so I won't be able to uh, get you guys any of or update Google Documents system. And for the people that don't know what the Google Docs doc system is, basically, all you have to do is click in the link in the description. It takes you to the prices of every single card that I have for sale. Um, right now, I won't be able to do it because again i am recording those live duels that you guys really want to see so uh go ahead and message me on facebook you can also message me through gmail for prices if you guys would like to and if you guys can follow the rules down below in the description you will receive a 10 percent discount on your entire purchase now you obviously still have to show me that you guys are subscribed and notified just take a screenshot of that sexy picture and send it on to me but um basically we have some really awesome cards for sale and as you guys can see i've been flipping through quite a bit just trying to get you guys as much information as possible and get you guys straight to the point um, i want to know what you guys think down below in the comment section also what do you guys think I could do to improve on the binder update? It is one of my lowest viewed videos on my channel. Um, it does get a lot of responses that you guys can see. We do sell quite a bit of cards. We do trade quite a bit of cards. And we also do buy quite a bit of cards. So it is definitely one of the more responded to videos. But view wise, it doesn't get the views that I would hope for. And I really want to reach uh, to a bigger audience. This Upstar Goblin is a super German um, and I really hope uh, to see you guys' comments down below in the comment section. What do you think we can do to make this binder update more than awesome? I really like to see what do you guys think. So um, that's pretty much it for the first binder. All of this was singles. You guys can buy these cards singularly, as many copies as you'd like, and basically do whatever you want. But that's it for the singles binder. Now we're going to get on to uh, the deck core binder. And the deck core binder always has, always will have, this little special rule, and that special rule is uh, cards in the deck core binder must go together. So I'm gonna flip it up to the next page. You guys are gonna see a low rarity Mermo core. I'm not splitting anything for the low, low rarity Mermo core. There are probably quite a few people that message me on Facebook or email asking me for specific cards in this binder. And I'm not gonna lie, you guys just get ignored. And I don't necessarily do it um, just to be rude or anything, but. It's a real big waste of my time that you guys have, or that we've been doing these binder updates for a very long time. And all you have to do is just look at the comment or look at the description, uh, uh, look at the comment section. Like it, it's extraordinarily easy uh, to get that everything in here is deck cores and I'm only getting together as deck core. And more often than not, when people ask that type of question, they just don't know what's going on. And it, it's a pretty big waste of time. I do like talking to my subscribers. I like, I like communicating with you guys. You guys are awesome. But when you guys are asking questions that have already been answered, it does get a bit frustrating. So I hope you guys can see my point of view of where I'm coming from. And hopefully uh, you guys have heard that. Uh, these Astrograph Sorcerers are obviously banned, so don't worry about that. But this is still a pretty nice Mythical Beast Core. And hopefully you guys can understand where I'm coming from because I am a very busy man. As you guys can see, I'm trying to get you a binder update in the midst of deck building and playing some real life games. So uh, we get uh, pretty busy from here on out. And I expect to be busy throughout the real life games because uh, I expect a lot of traffic, a lot of people to hit me up. Now people are probably wondering, uh, hey Cal Effect, do you do trades? And the answer is yes. Um, there is a specific list up top. Uh, there's gonna be a link in the description. It's like looking to sell cards, blah, blah, blah. I do buy those cards as well. So if you guys are looking to sell cards, then go ahead and look at that list. Um, the, it, everything that I'm buying doesn't pertain to just that list. You guys can sell me cards outside of that list. You guys can just send me what you have, and hopefully I'll be able to find something. But the top list are cards that I'm looking for. Personally, um, I, I am willing to trade for those cards. The bottom list, of course, um, I trade for them, but I would prefer to take trade in basically a fraction of the value. Um, now, if you guys look at your boy Cali Effect up, you guys just giving me a good deal no matter what. But uh, this binder is actually a binder that was constructed, and I probably need to redo it because... You know, this is the front of the binder, and it starts at the back. Um, and it's basically a whole bunch of singles, but uh, the only thing that is particular to this binder is that these single cards, um, 
normally were a part of deck cores that I just didn't get around to finishing. So shout all windows and stuff like that. You know, more Altergeist Marionettas, Blue Mech Skies, and Mech Knight Purple Nightfall. I feel like once I get other copies of these cards, like hypothetically, if nobody buys this and I get two more Purple Nightfall and Macabas, then I'll probably just make an Invoke Core and throw it in the deck core binder. But until then, I just thought I'd give you guys a shot at some of the deck core cards, quote unquote. Um, and before, you know, they eventually get to making a deck core, these Alter Guys Multifakers are actually proxies. So anybody looking for a really good looking proxies, they're right here. I have quite a few other proxies. Um, if you guys are looking for those, just let me know. Uh, so to the next page, uh, we have some pretty good cards in here. I just feel like this was a really awesome binder to just throw together. Uh, for the people that are looking for specific cards from deck cores and i'll possibly keep it i'm not 100 sure how i'm gonna do it but uh please guys let me know down below in the comment section what do you guys think we could do to make this binder update even better i really appreciate you guys input also share this with a friend share this with as many friends as possible let's see uh who uh really wants to buy stuff it won't, i mean it's it's perfectly fine to just look at this uh binders for collection i actually know a lot of people that be like hey your binder updates are lit i like looking at them hey i like showing them um and hopefully soon enough i'll be able to show you guys my real collection but thank you guys so much for watching please like comment subscribe and you hear that little badass in the background i'm about to go cuss his ass out hope you guys are having a great day like i am